Within this slide, there are two images exactly the same. Can you find them? Whilst it may seem self-indulgent to show you so many selfies of myself, that does demonstrate something important about how face recognition works. Whilst we can see the features that make each of these photos unique, like a stupid smile or some bad lighting, we can also see the features that are consistent. This means that in our minds, we are representing both the unique and the consistent properties of these images, and we do so for different reasons. It is seeing the unique properties which allows us to find the duplicate image as it appears in the gallery. But it is the consistent properties that drive our face recognition ability, a process that is enhanced through our familiarity and experience with a particular face. It is this process that allows humans to excel at recognizing familiar faces. But just as familiarity improves our face recognition ability, I ask, how does it also see, uh, how has it also changed how we see those unique and superficial differences in the images? To test this, I gave participants galleries like this one and asked them to find the duplicate image. The galleries either consisted of a familiar or an unfamiliar face, and what I was trying to see is whether familiarity was changing the difficulty of this task. And what I found was surprising. When the faces were familiar, participants were both slower and less accurate at finding the duplicate image compared to when it was an unfamiliar face. This means that the more familiar you are with my face, the harder this example would be. Now, this is the first research to show a cost of familiarity in face processing. This cost challenges our understanding of how faces are being represented in the mind. My research aims to examine the causes of this counterintuitive effect in hopes of understanding how familiarity is changing how we see and recognize faces. But why is this an important question? Well, it boils down to a single statistic, one in 1,000. That is the number of passports believed to have been issued to a passport off, uh, to imposters in a single year. Now, I don't know about you, but I use my photograph of my face to verify my identity in so many different situations. And because of that, passport officers and the like have the difficult job of recognizing that it is actually us. The problem with this is my face is unfamiliar to them, and they often have to rely on only one of these photos to recognize me. So in to combat this, my idea is to employ our understanding of how familiarity is changing our face recognition ability into improving our understanding and the, improving the training of the passport officers who do this type of task and the design of the face recognition software they use to improve their uh, performance. Thank you. <laughs>